Hi everybody! Welcome to Chiki Chili Paddy's Kitchen. Uh, today I feel like making pork tacos, which is a Mexican dish um, that's a spicy uh, minced meat sauce uh, that you wrap into uh, like a Mexican wrap. And then there are a lot of different condiments which I'm going to show you later. But essentially, uh, the meaty sauce is what I'm going to show you how I'm going to, how I'm going to make. And it's going to be really yummy. So let's look at ingredients, yeah? So for the meat, I've got about uh, 500 grams of minced pork. Uh, together with that, I have one large onion, which I'll chop up in a bit. Uh, you have four cloves of garlic uh, that we're going to chop up as well. Now in terms of spice, now what makes um, taco sauce, the meat sauce, different from bolognese because the two of them look pretty similar is actually the spice that's used and so for tacos the main spice here is uh, ground cumin um, I, I think you buy it, you can buy it you know off the store bots like that so it looks something like this but for this recipe for 500 grams of meat we're using two teaspoons of cumin and uh, we also have one and a half tablespoons of brown sugar yeah just to add a little bit of sweetness to it so that's the spices. We also have um, tomato dice, freshly, uh, I mean, tin uncooked diced tomato. Now, in most recipes, they would recommend what they call a tomato passata. I want to Google it, right? And passata is basically um, really uh, very good quality fresh tomatoes uh, that are chopped up uh, and uncooked. Most of the sauce, the tomato sauces that you find in the supermarkets are the spaghetti ones and that one is cooked tomato sauce. So essentially what they're asking for is uncooked tomatoes. So an easy uh, substitute for that would be something like this. So the diced tomatoes in, in a can which is still uncooked. And the last component is uh, something acidic. So in my case, I am choosing to use half a cup of lime juice. Um, in most of taco, meaty taco recipes, they would recommend you to use apple cider vinegar, which is great. But I'm not using that just because I was too lazy to go on my apple cider vinegar. So you can use lime juice, you can use uh, the apple cider vinegar, you could also use, I guess, white wine vinegar if you have that handy. Uh, just, just try it out, okay? So these are the key ingredients and we're going to cook it uh, over in a while. So we're going to be adding all the stuff in, so I'm just going to show you the sequence really, really easy. So turn on the fire, alright, and then uh, just drizzle in olive oil, heat it up. In goes the chopped onion, you can hear the sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. So just fry it up, soften it, it'll take roughly about 5 minutes. Yeah. So now we're going to put in the chopped garlic, so the four cloves goes in and so you fry it around for about a minute. Ooh, fine, fine one then. Okay. Then once uh, that's been stirring in for about a minute, that's when you can start adding in the pork mince. So pork mince goes in 500 grams, yeah? So 500 grams goes in, okay? And this is where you turn the heat up on high. Previously it was a medium, yeah? So but now what you're gonna do is because you're gonna brown the, the minced pork. So here is where you wanna get it up on high to quickly just brown the meat. Okay. So let's brown, brown, brown. Okay, so meat has been browning on high for about five minutes, so now you can kind of turn down a little bit. And now goes in the sugar and the spices. So the two teaspoons of cumin and the brown sugar goes in, right, and stir it up. Ooh, can really smell. It's beginning to smell like Mexican food. Yeah, so stir it in for about a minute so that you get all the... Oh my gosh, it smells so nice. Okay, the thing that's going to go in is the wine juice. So here we go, lunch. So going in. Okay. And so with that, you let it simmer for about three to four minutes. And then the last thing that's gonna go in is the diced tomatoes. So these are all the diced tomatoes going in. And this means all ingredients are in. Ten minutes. It will be ready and we'll get to enjoy. Welcome to Chiki Chili Party Taco Party! So I'm going to share with you how the assembly happens. So what we have is the soft taco tortilla, right? 
and we're gonna add on all the good stuff so there are many different condiments you can pick and choose I have lettuce over here uh, we're gonna do some sour cream so sour cream oh so good <laughs> and then we're gonna do some chopped purple onions okay and uh, there's cherry tomatoes. You want cherry tomatoes? Yep. Uh, candy beans for those of you who like Tell beans. Me. Yeah. Okay, I have a very hungry child that's also at the table too, so that's why you hear Alani in the background. <laughs> beans are good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you. <laughs> that's up. <laughs> for those of you who like really spicy stuff, I would highly recommend jalapenos which is the Mexican pickled chilies. They look like uh, pickled Chinese chilies, but they are way hotter than Chinese chilies, okay? So just telling you that, eh? Okay, so have jalapenos. If you want, there's some salsa sauce. Salsa sauce you can add on, just as a either. And then, coming to the main thing, taco sauce. So, scoop in a good dog of the taco sauce into this beautiful, beautiful assembly. And while it's still hot, of course you must add cheese. Let's do cheese. And I think we're done. So once you're done, roll it up. Roll it up. Mm -mm -mm. Roll it up. And then you see that oh gorgeous, all of these things are there. And then take a bite of all the things that go together. Mm. Mm. It's not bad. Enjoy!